Well, come. To New Horizons Orbital. Where the hell is this? Well, I'll tell you. We're in the sweet ship Jara Lane. Now, this is where we are. The heck is this? It's not very far away, really. We're just sort of in the middle of nowhere down here. I sort of noticed all these independent stars dotted around, and, I, and they had sort of. Asian names, like sort of Chinese, Japanese, and sort of Indian names as well, maybe. Well, that would be Indian. But, and I saw this one over here, Takata, just miles away from anything. So I think it's the furthest, I think it's the furthest independent before everything is just coal. And as you see, off you go. Polaris is up there, that would be a good little trip to go to. And if you come over this way, we're still nowhere, really, in the grand scheme of things. So, let's get back to where we are. Tikaha! And I'm in my asp. What? Thank you. And I've got... Um, what have I got? I have got... Why doesn't it show up there? That's annoying. But I've got a cabin. I've got a, a three quantity business cabin. Um, just because I had a spare three slot and I wasn't going to put a discovery uh, surface scanner in it. And some of these... <laughs> Great. There are none here. Just before I was, oh, <laughs> just before I went to record, there were some, so that's interesting. Uh, okay, that ain't gonna change. Uh, all right, bear with me, caller. Let's just see if we can't refresh that, shall we? I was in a little group there. That's so funny. Well, it's not funny. It's annoying, but. I'll just go into solo, and whilst it's uh, loading, I'll have a swig of Sauvignon Blanc. So I've never really done any passenger miss missions. It's just it's something I've wanted to do. I think I will get a dolphin at some point. Nice, easy ship to do, um, and do some. Uh, look at it. It's put me back into the into the goddamn. Loading bay. Yes. Whoa, look at this. This guy's miles. Four million. The ones I was looking at, they were about one million. They're about 100 light years away, and then maybe about 150, 200, which isn't too far. Let's have a look at 4.6 million. What Bruce Velez wants us to do. Look at some of these. 21 million. 24 million 29 million this is an auction uh, but let's have a look where Bruce wants to go uh, articulation motors it's not what I want the other one was grid resistance but anyway look at this he wants to go there then he wants to go to Molina then he wants to go to Cheng then he wants to go to there uh, Hot Jupiter and then the Ice Geezers, more Ice Geezers, and then the Jupiter Visitor Beacon. Now the interesting thing about this is what you always have to remember when you're doing passenger missions is that when you take them there, you then have to take them back home again. Home again. Uh, and each of the passengers have different traits. Now I've only got a business class um, passenger cabin, so I think it goes economy business I don't know luxury something else something else anyway mine's not very uh, not very good it's only a 3e or it might be a 3d I don't really know either way it's not like a premium or a luxury or a whatever and I'm not gonna do this I mean this you know 
the Asp I'm in, Asp Explorer, it's a, it's got a jump range of 40, but so I could get to Coal Sector in two, Melina in f five, Sheng in ten, maybe. It's a lot of jumps for four point odd million, which I don't want to do. So we will do the same thing. It's terrible that you can do this really. I mean a lot of people use this as I am right now, but I'm not using this as an exploit to get stack up 20 missions going to the same place. I'm just doing it because the mission that I wanted, god damn it, has disappeared. Well it had disappeared by the time I clicked. <sighs> Go. Go directly to Marleybone Station. So let's just see if we can refresh another passenger mission and see what happens but if you you know if you didn't know that this existed this is what you can do you can switch between solo and open play or private group if you've got one set up and you can choose um, to try and refresh the mission board and the passenger lounge what do we got do we have anything no all because the lady loves milk tray. That's annoying because we've you've got to be friendly to get these done. Oh man, this is really annoying. Right, I'll give it one more try, otherwise I'm going to Well, you know, I'm just gonna stop this and I can't remember what I logged into, so let's log into open play, because I definitely didn't log into that. Um Otherwise, I'll stop this and uh, just carry on drinking wine, I guess, do something else. Not much more interesting. But the Asp Explorer has had its FSD upgraded to level 4, and it's got itself up to about 40. Unladened with logs. Well, not with logs, but... Uh... Alright, so this is... Uh... This is very, very aggressively annoying now commander Wilburn Weeks is uh, annoying me very not aggressively to be honest more sort of just lethargically he's lethargically annoying me it does look good doesn't it do you know what I don't think I've ever seen a planet surface with as much con as it was showing me just then fake Fake news. That's what I say, Madre Fuente. Right, last time. Otherwise, we're binning this. We're going to go and put Why Don't You on. What do we got? I should have took the one going bloody miles away. Oh, come on. Come on. Donate 24 units of polymers? Are you insane? Wilburn Weeks? I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would anybody do that? Right, I'll give it one more try. I'll give it just one more waffer thin try. I want to go fly a ship. If not, I will go outside and fly a kite. And that said, is there ever going to be a ship called the kite? Probably not, but there will be. Possibly. A ship called uh, the Crate, which is uh, not too many consonants away from the word kite. Uh, let's see if we can actually find a mission. Oh, yes. Hey, well, there you go. It's the same friggin' one that we saw first time. So let's have a look at this. 4.6 million for Bruce Velez. He wants a sightseeing adventure. So, as I said before, the experience. The, the important thing to remember when you are doing uh, these types of missions, it's interesting to know actually that these missions give you quite high level cargo rewards for um, this one is articulation motors, so I, you might need those for the engineers, I don't really know, I thought they'd sort of got rid of that, it was more materials that you need, but anyway doing missions like this will get you interesting materials that you might need to get the higher level um, engineer upgrades but anyway whenever you take these these missions you have passenger traits um, and remember it says you will receive payment when you return 
So if we look down, we have to go 100 light years, 200 light years, 400 light years, 130 light years, and then come back. But hopefully you can come back pretty directly. You don't have to go on the the jinky jinks that we will be doing. So every passenger that you take or group of passengers have traits. This one does not react well to danger. Hull damage will dramatically reduce passenger satisfaction. Uh, it's never happened to me, but I guess if um, if a passenger gets too knocked off with you, he'll just say, right, you failed. I'm not paying you. Take me home. I wonder if you could then eject him. Hmm. See, that's the type of thing that should be in the game. Anyway, he's going to be making demands while he's on board. He doesn't give a shit about illegality, because he's probably illegal, and he's a high-risk target. So I'm not going to take you on this whole journey, but I will do it, because A, I've never been to see the tourist site Hot Jupiter, although I bloody well like the frigging sound of that. Um, Malina AB5B Ice Geezers, I mean, that sounds like a bad pop band, but I've never seen Ice Geezers either, so I'll be interested to have a look at that. Cheng ice geezer sounds as if it might be heading back towards independent space which is where we are and then jupiter and visit to beacon i've got no friggin idea so it doesn't really matter i'm gonna pick the business cabin now this guy this one guy takes up three people spaces he's a frigging giant actually that definitely did have the horizons logo see the horizons logo on there the planet with the, yeah we're gonna have to go planet side that's all right I don't particularly give a shit but let's go and have a look at what we've got going on so if we have a look uh, we now have businessman is business time in the ass I so we've got no cargo obviously because we don't want any of that and we have a look at our transactions. Bruce Velez, he is off on an adventure. So the first one should be on our nav map. You would hope that would happen, but what a surprise, it has not. So we have to look for where we are. Now it won't take very long in this ASP, as I said, because it's got an extended jump range, but it's still something you're probably not gonna do forever. Right, so the first one is up by Kuhn, which is where uh, one of the... Oh, come on, there it is. Zoom in. Oh, is it above me? Yep. Okay. Uh, there it... Oh, my God. Get your facts straight. And your teeth clean. Okay, that's where we want to go. That's the first part. Never been here before in my fahunking life. I don't think it'll be very far to get there. Three jumps, let us do it. And we are instantly off. All right, you're a bit loud. Let's get out of here. Sod all these monkeys. Now, usually I would do wake scans coming out of here because uh, that's what you need to do. But I ain't gonna bother, we're just gonna get the heck out of Dodge. The room. Come on, Maslock. Unmaslock. Un. Maslock. Stop it. Jeez. Oh, yeah, this ASP is um, A rated, apart from sensors and life support. I'm interested in the sensors. I guess for a bigger ship, putting better. Putting better sensors on gives you a, I think, anyway. Let's just let the, the wonderful audio of hyperspace drift over us. I think, okay, and whenever I'm doing anything like this, I always scan, the, at least I'll scan the first star, you know, you've got to give me the first star. Is it gonna pop up? Thank you. It usually pops up a hell of a lot quicker than that. This is typically any kind of traveling I do. 
I'll fire the discovery scanner. I'll start scanning the scar, star, or the scar. You can scan the scar if you want. It's a gun. And then I'll look at what else is out here, and I think, well, look, this is a friggin' huge planet. All right, that's like a crap Saturn. So if I target that and point at it, because it's so big, despite it being 1,000 light seconds away, I'm pretty certain I should be able to scan it. And I cannot, so I'm going to shut my mouth. So we're on a big journey, so we will scoop. I've got a key binding for um, next system in 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 the the list, whatever you know, whatever journey you're on. I've got a thing where I push. Well, all the fucking trigger buttons, to be honest. L1, R1, L2, R2, and it just, whatever I'm targeting, it just pings to the next system on my jump. The 3A scoop on an ASP, because the the, the fuel tank isn't that big, it, it, it sorts it super quick. We're back to full health. Full health? What am I, some kind of idiot? We're back to full fuel. Uh, and then we'll go. I would have looked at... You can see all these, all these engineer upgrades that are on this. Pr pretty much a lot. I could have done the FSD interdictor, but I didn't have the materials, man. I'm a pauper. Oh, I see. I never tire of that, that little animation. Going into hyperspace. It's bloody brilliant. I was a beta backer for this back in like, I don't know, two. 2014 maybe a long time ago and I remember when they changed that to be pretty similar to how it is now I was blown away by it, it was fantastic let's just have a look at the system see if there's anything interesting the adva right we're gonna scan this one uh, you're being scanned dr. Doke decahedron you can sod off who mum diddly um -ra. Oh yeah, that's a, uh, that's a Thundercats fan there, Mumra the Ever Living, et cetera. So I always stop dead as soon as I get into a system, just because you don't want to be flying into the star. And I've got that bound to just R1 and L1 <laughs> at the same time. Stops you dead, it's very useful, I used it all the time on the PC. I uh, hope this guy doesn't mind me just like scanning everything, but I don't give a shit. I'm taking him. I am taxi driver extraordinaire. I should start talking to politics to him. No fucking way. Right, let's carry on. We'll get a little scoop as we skirt around the, the star. Yeah, do you know what? The Asp is such a cool ship. It, you know, I was thinking about getting a Diamondback because I've never had one, and possibly a Vulture for um, a Vulture for combat. But I've never had a Vulture for combat as well. I would say that anybody watching this while it's streaming, hey, I'm glad that you're here listening to me. Um, you know, be annoying probably, but it's um, it's the easiest way I find to record on. PS4, that's just the way it is. If you've just joined, we're doing passenger missions. I've got this dude. His name is Bruce Veleth, and he is seeking sightseeing adventures, and he's hopefully getting burned in my ship. But he wants to go quite far. I'm not going to take you all the way because it's uh, a long way, and I will end this thing before that. But you are in the. Oh, I love that sound. You're in the sweet ship Jara Lane. And we are going to take this passenger on his sightseeing tour. So when we get into the system, he should tell me. I, I called it, Bruce. I fucking called it out. Let's just have a look. What else is in this system? This is a binary star system. There's another star really close to us, I saw. Whoa, look at this shit. Just stars everywhere apart from that. It's a planet. All right. Now, how far away is that? That, that's, that other star is only nine light seconds away. Would you bloody believe it? Let's have a look at it. It's up here. This game, you know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Let's see what Bruce says. 
Um, well, thanks very much, Bruce. You are very helpful. Okay, now we're not going to go into the system map because there is a bit of delay. We'll just go to the nav panel and have a look how far away these other stars are. And I just, I recommend doing this whilst you're stationary and, you know, if you can scan them, you know, because they're stars, you can pretty much scan them up to about 3,000 light seconds away. And it just, you know, puts your exploration data up, you know, it's not a bad thing. Is it a bad thing? I don't know. It could be a bad thing. Unfortunately, it does take a certain amount of time, which I was led to believe is 10 seconds. However, I'm pretty certain more than 10 seconds has elapsed. And it just keeps going. Thank you, Pinger. And that one's a smaller star, so we would have to get a little bit closer in order for it to ping, but we ain't doing that. Uh, what we're doing is we are gonna go and take our guy to the planet which isn't very far away and then we'll drop into the um, beacon as soon as we are there now we're in anarchy system so we shouldn't really expect to see anybody that looks cool though doesn't it yes it does it's like a shit Malteser next to a big sour ball anyway that's what we want hot Jupiter uh, I guess it's called Hot Jupiter because it's a planet next to a star and it would be pretty warm. Now this is not behind the planet, it's in front of it, but this looks a bit dodgy. But it still looks pretty cool. We, are, we have to fly pretty close to this planet, which is annoying because it's not a landable planet. And again, with tourist beacons, you have to... Tourist beacons, typically, if you look on the, the hologram in the bottom left, they have an exclamation mark. That's how you know they're a tourist beacon. And when you drop into it, just target it. And it, your ship will scan it like it's a, a ship. And he will say, hey, thanks very much, man. So that's what we need to target, the little thingy. And when it pings, that looks cool. Whoa. Hey, look at all these sightseers. Yo, anybody got any ice cream? Yeah. Orker. ABW Galactic Travel Agency. Lawless. I could interdict him, but that's not really what I'm here for. So let's have a look at what happens there. Hot Jupiter. Whenever you scan a tourist beacon, you get a little bit of a flibbity flibbity gibbity. This is a destination for tourists, happy to experience some real heat. This example of a hot Jupiter was suggested by Commander Raumfara Spriff. Spiff? Spriff. He's spriffing, and pilots are warned to keep an eye on the hull temperature when in this area. Well, mine's at 39, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Let us see now. All right, Bruce, you fucking... Okay, so Bruce wants to move on. So let's have a look and see where Bruce... That does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Wow, look at it. It's just a shame you can't land on these things just yet. Uh, let's have a look. Where else does Bruce want to go? Fucking miles away. Excellent, excellent. That's exactly exactly what we wanted. Now, he wants to go to... Oh, oh, right, we need to go up, 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 up. In, in, in. There, that'll do. Okay, Malina. It's just a nothing system. It's ice geezers. He's going for ice geezers. What is wrong with this person? Let us see how many jumps. Passengers are advised that the gymnasium is currently closed due to a good malfunction. Said that twice. Four jumps. Now it's pretty far away. Thankfully, this asp is a legend. Uh, that's still hot Jupiter. We don't care. But look at that. That's pretty cool. It's um, it's it's moments like this when you kind of think, oh, this is a bit ooh, horrible pointing at that. I just can't help thinking that I'm going to crash. Obviously I'm not. So first sightseeing thing done. Now the reason why I'm doing this is I never in my wildest dreams, I never imagined that you could put a passenger cabin in an ASP Explorer. I don't know why I didn't. 
blue. I still wish, you know, witch space would occur and all the stars would disappear and it would just be inky blackness and these little green octahedron-y type. Shut up. All right. Let's see what we've got here. As I said, you know, it's just good manners to scan every system you land in just to see what the hell's going on. Nothing interesting here. We don't care about any of that. As soon as it's pinged, we will go. We will go. It won't take us long. What's that called? East Sussex? That's where I'm from. That's where I am right now. Ooh, I can't scoop that star. That's odd. Hey, Sisuku. Hey, what up? Shut up. I. Nothing to do with me. Well, I hope Bruce is happy. Anyway, this is going to net 4.6 million. And if you can have some fun while you're doing it, it makes a bit of a difference from from doing cargo runs. That last community goal that was on, me and my buddies, we were like, uh, even though it was just a one hop, one, you know, it was one jump, the, the, the profit you were making on, uh, there's no point firing the scanner off, but I will anyway, just because, whatever. Apparently this place is known to people. Right, we will, we'll fill up here. Just as we line up and not hit the uh, the flame ball. Reminds me of Salamander. Any older people in the audience here played some old uh, old computer games, old arcade games? I remember Salamander both in the arcade and on the Commodore Sweet 64. Very good, very good. One of the levels, it was a fire level and the fire swept out from me. It's interesting because the actual animation of that it had to be used, it had to be a hardware sprite. Yes, okay, I didn't really fill up as much as I'd like to there, John. But uh, I'll come back again tomorrow. I won't, I will go somewhere else. <laughs> See you later. Only two more jumps to the next destination for Bruce. And nobody wants to piss off Bruce. Every Bruce. Any Bruce. Especially Bruce Forsyth. Do not piss him off. He will get very dancey. I hope he's still alive. I'm sure he is. I'm almost positive that he is. Right, so we haven't scanned this, so we'll fire this off. We will have a look at the system. What does it look like? Twin stars? This star is only 175 light seconds away. It's a good way, because I don't know why it doesn't tell you how far away the stars are, as you see there. But if you just look at whatever's around the star, it will, you can guess how far it is. And because it's not so far, I know that the first star has already scanned by now, so I can... What the fuck? Uh... Yeah. Uh... Okay, I don't understand what happened there. Where's the other star? Okay, so what I just said made no sense whatsoever. How on earth? Oh, so we've actually come in on this star. That's very odd. I've never seen that before. Uh, I have never seen that before in years of playing this game. Always you come in on that star, the high, the, the top star, you know, dark star, fucking brave star, all the stars. That's weird. Doesn't matter. We're heading to Joss Molina. Can I scoop this? Yay. Right, let's at least try and get some, some decent, decent, decent scoopage. Malina. So we're going to see some ice geezers here. I've never seen ice geezers. Again, if anybody is is watching and still watching, I apologize. This is, you know, I'm not a streamer. I'm a dreamer, you know. I'm not a schemer. I'm getting hot, though. Um, this is just the way I record things. I can't see any comments. Uh, 
uh, I can't see. I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. But it's uh, at the minute I'm I'm new to the sticking stuff on PlayStation. What am I saying? On YouTube via PlayStation. That's what I'm saying. Okay, this is where we're going for Bruce's second transaction sightseeing destination. Target body currently unknown. I'm pretty certain it's going to be Melina AB5B ice geezers. I think that's where it's going to be. I'm pre pretty certain that it gave it away, Bruce. Oh, whoa. Hello. Whee. <laughs> that R3 button. Whew. Okay, Bruce, where are we going? There's a conflict zone here? What is happening? Okay, there's a lo- whoa. Man, it wants us to go there. Okay, it's not too far away. That's interesting that there's actually a, um... Uh, what, what is that called? A space station? It's interesting that there's a space station there. Uh, anyway, we don't care about that. We really don't. We are going to fly towards this planet just for Bruce. Now, we don't need to bother about um, refueling. We'll just get there as quick as possible. Because I'm then going to land in that other place. And I just, I've never seen ice geezers. I, I, uh, does it mean you have to land on the planet? don't really know. I don't really know. Anyway, what is Bruce now saying? Well, they, what a surprise. It's Melina B5 uh, B. Uh, thanks, Bruce. <sighs> See, these, this is actually quite fun to do. It's such a different thing than flying or trying to assassinate someone or trying to interdict someone. See how quickly that is such a large planet it started to scan after 1,000 light seconds. These are good information to know. Hold them in the back of your brain so you may retrieve them at a later date. That is what information is for, ladies and gentlemen. That is a knowledge. Until you get as old as I am, then it becomes porridge. We're ignoring all of these things. Now, there's a load of stuff around this big planet. But now we're there and we've scanned him. We're just going to go straight for that one. And let's not fly straight into it, shall we? Okie dokie. It's kind of cool. I don't, I, again, I don't think I've ever been out this side. Of, I've not been over this side of the... The tracks are not been out this, this way, this side of town. But there are some things around here. That's a cool looking, uh, whatever that cloud is. Oh, there's another cloud down there. They look kind of cool. Right, let's, let's get to where we want to go. Do we need to l land on this? I'm not so sure. As you probably guessed, I haven't got a, the slightest clue what I'm doing. Right, where? Yay. Right, let's have a bit of that. Now, I will actually go down and see if I can see any of the Molina AB5B ice geezers. They sound like friggin' legends, man. They're ice geezers. I mean, that's pretty cool. And it's a that does look like an interesting looking world. Usually they're sort of grey. That looks awesome. Whoa, we're gonna have to get super close. Look at that. I'm gonna land on that moke. I am straight down there. Whoa. Yeah, let's just fly at it. Whoa, can we land on it? I'm not sure. Yes we can. Why what the The fuck? I'm just I did that because I don't know why it didn't... Why didn't it say, hey, you can uh, you can come out of Super Cruise if you want. It's up to you. 
Oh, you've actually got to get onto the surface. Wow. Jesus, I was gonna—I would have just flown into the friggin' planet. Not too, not too far. Oh come on, that's all right. That can be a glide. That's that can be a glide. I could glide onto that. This is cool. I've never done this before. I thought I was going to. Well, it will be a tourist beacon, but it's obviously a tourist beacon on the surface of a f planet, which we're just aiming at directly down. Might not even cruise at that angle. Oh yeah, we snuck a cruise. Okay, right, that's enough. Whoa, whoa. Right, ice geezers. I want to see what you're all about. I've never been on a planet surface like this. This is cool. It is going to be hell in the SRV. I mean, proper. You know it. It is going to be a nightmare. Right, where are we headed? Look at this. I hope there's going to be something other than just a... I'm just using the laterals to come down here. You've got to be careful, though. I don't know what the gravity's like. I'm just... I'm just being... I'm being ever so careful, sir. I'm being ever so careful. I'm not sure, you know. Brilliant! This game annoys me. I was not trying to do that. I was trying to put the landing gear down. Shh, fucking controls created by Blind Man Pew. Right, anyway. We're not too far away. I'll just fly towards it, shall I? Yay! I'll still come down a bit, though. See, see what's happening. Okay, that'll do. Are these... Are they ice geezers? I mean, can I land here? Doesn't look like. Wow, that surface is as rocky as absolute sin. Stop moving forward, stupid ship. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Let's just get the ship down, shall we? Yep, yep, yep. Stop moving. You absolute nightmares. 30 meters off the ground. We're 30 meters off the ground. We're coming down into land. It's coming down, coming down, coming down. Oh, look. Snowman. Okay, buddy, you coming out with me? Are you are you are you coming out? Well, you best you best have be, buddy. This is when Bruce takes off in my ship. Don't need the lights on, but I'm going to put them on anyway. Whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Hey, look, they're over there. I can see geezering. That's fucking cool as, man. Right, hold on. Scan complete. It's done. It's done. We didn't even need to do anything. We just need to look at it. That's how things happen. Cryo geezers will generally have little liquid components, but instead be composed of volatiles with dust and ice. Nice. No, actually, Bruce, we're going to go and have a look. Don't come all this way just to do what you want, other than the fact that you are the client. Oh man, are you kidding me? Whoa. There was one sort of close by. That's pretty cool. Do you know what? I just know if I try and get down there in this, it's going to be an absolute shitstorm. There's nothing else sort of... Is there one closer by? Shut your face. There's no... Um, 
No materials anywhere. There might be if you actually had a look around. That's a cool world though. Anything else going on around here? Ice geezers. Icy geezers. Yeah, they're cool. That's kind of cool. That's uh, that's worthwhile, actually. I've never seen that, so it's worth um, the whole trip. Don't skid! Don't skid! Don't turn! Don't flip! Don't roll! Don't dive! Don't jump! No swearing! Come on! We are flying. Oh yeah. Into the back of the asp. That is not how to deploy a handbrake. Ooh, about there. Right, let's have a look. Uh, forward, 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 back. You what? Oh my god. Right. Anyway, we're in. That was cool. I've never seen those before. I'm going to get over, get up and have a little flyby in the ship. And then I'm going to continue on to Cheng via the station that is in this system. Just in case, <laughs> God forbid, anything untoward should happen to my ship. But at least I will resurrect myself here. Right, let's have a look. Let's fly sideways using the vertical thrusters. Oh, yeah. Let's go and have a look at that one. Whoa, don't go down. Well, you know, that's not something I say off. But let's go and have a look at this one. Wonder if it moves the ship. Have I flown too far? Of course I have. No. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of like that. That <laughs> looks wicked. That's awesome. It's a shame you can't get any... Um, you can't get any materials or anything out of it. What do you think, Bruce? I've shown you your geezers, dude. Yeah, right. Good. So we will go and dock wherever. Cooey, <laughs> cooey. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, this is brilliant. Let's get out of here. Look, cooey. It's up there. As soon as we can get non-mass locked, we will go and dock. I will continue my journey, and you can get back to your lives, good people. You can get back to your lives. So there you go. It's something a little bit different with um, with passenger missions. I think that's kind of cool. I, I actually like all of the lore that you get to see. I like the all the stuff that the developers have put in the game. Um, I think it's worth it as well. It, it just give it's you know it's building a richness to the to the universe. It's building a richness to the game, where you can um, where you can go and see what's going on. I really should be pointing ninety degrees up, but I was pointing it cooey. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep this passenger cabin in here. I don't know if I can get a three C D or um, why have I done that? Oh my god, I annoy myself. Go on, cool down then. I don't know, why did I not think I was a super group? Dear me. Surely it should have said, hey, dick, you're, you know, you're not close enough to something. Push that button again if you really want to do that. And I would say, no sir, not me, not I, no. 
so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the passenger cabin I kind of like that I like the idea of um, ferrying people about and, and just going to see things whether you're in open play whether you're in whatever you're in it's just something a little bit different than just just grinding bounty kills and getting into them and not an overpowered ship you have to know how to use the ship but I just I'm more interested in the sort of I just I just can't stand grind I mean this might look sort of grindy it really isn't it's it's actually quite enjoyable because there's no you know there there is a, a financial reward for doing a passenger mission but it's not you know it's not f kill 10 boar oh now go and kill 15 boar 30 go and kill 100 boar to get a boar sword yeah I am bored it's um that type of grind is is, is no good I'm not sure the way that the community goals are set up is correct either I think it's I think the monetary gain you can get from them is too great for what the the community goals are they should change the tiering maybe I don't know what they should do they should do something because in all you know I I think that last one uh, doing the one for null um, uh, LTT4961 was it uh, I only put in maybe 900 tons of stuff and I was in the top 50 and I was doing it in this asp I was doing it in this ship I didn't have a shield I had nothing I was I just had frigging cargo racks coming out of my asp and so I had 124 tons of cargo which is more than you can get in the type 6 what the hell is that about uh, it's a bit weird I should scan that dolphin while it's sitting in front of me oh hold on why have I had these no no gotta scan stars man don't hit it that's the key don't hit the star you can skirt the star that's cool Ooh, and scoop it. Whoa! Am I? What on earth is happening? What on earth just happened? Hmm. Nah, I don't like the look of that at all. So we're going to get up to Topo Speedo. I don't have anything in my car but cargo holds to twist. So you can jack off. Lats, mother. Look at him, he's not even bothering. He's actually not even bothering. It's ridiculous. Just let me. Man. I'm just going to scan the stars then if you're going to make me trajectory align. Trajectory off. You gotta, you gotta scan your stars, people. It's Melina B. Why can't I? Why can't I target that star? Oh man, that's annoying. Is it because I already have it? Probably. Anyway, look, I don't care about any of this. That's all I care about. Where is Cooey? We're heading back to Cooey. I could go back and attack that guy. I don't know how big a federal gunship is. I don't really. Is that is that the smallest one? Is it like gunship drop, gun, gunship dropship assault? Is it paper scissors stone? What is it? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Somebody tell me what it is. I have no idea. I probably could have took it. I could have took it. I could have been a contender. But you know what? I just I just wanted to get into. Cooey. What was he? He was only he was only competent. That's all right. You can deal with competent. It's when people get a sort of mastery. Yeah, masters. Yeah, rhymes with master. We're going to dock here, and then I'm going to take. Oh, look, I do this all the time. Now you see a diamondback. Look at me. I'm scanning two things at once. Mega multitasking. 
There's all sorts out here. I don't, I don't even know where the hell I am. I guess I must have moved closer into... Scan the planet. Thank you. Must have moved closer into... I don't know. What the hell is this? This must be Federation. No, it can't be. We'll know when we dock. It doesn't really matter. Bruce is getting docked. You can have a shower, you smelly old bastard. I can smell your feet from here. And I have to tell you, I don't bloody like it. A repugnant. All right, let's get into Kui. That's such a great name for a tourist place. Kui. <laughs> Uh, you've got to laugh at it. Let's get in. Go to bed. And then I'll leave you be, ladies and gentlemen. But again, the thing you have to remember with these things is once you've done all of your uh, journeys, once you've done your where you're going to, then you have to take the bloody bastard back. That is the name of the game. And you want to play the game with me. Lateral thrusters for the win. Don't you scan me. Bruce will go mental. Oh, Bruce, I'm sorry. I could have, I forgot. I need to come in hot. Oh, don't send me a message, Bruce, because I'll get angry. I won't give you any soap in the shower. We're in! Where's 22? Ooh, it's a lovely agricultural world. Oh, he didn't mind being scanned. Cool. I don't give a shit being scanned, he says. I do not give one shit. Well, we're in. Ladies and gentlemen, we've landed on this in this lovely... Coriolis Garden. Enjoy your stay at the facility, Commander. Thank you very much, air traffic control lady. Kui Resort. This is great. I'll buy something, sell something. Everything's great. Look at it. Tourist. Tourist commodities. Maybe I can pick somebody else up. I can't because Bruce is eight foot tall and eight foot wide. The fat bastard. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Passenger missions for the win. I'm going to have a drink of wine, and then I'm going to obviously sleep for 24 hours before I get back into my spaceship. And with that, I leave you and say goodbye. That's the wrong button. I mean, you know, see how professional I am. This is the whole, the whole thing about this is, is the professionality, if that is even a word, which it is not.